No, I don't think it should be, uh, Dana. You know, obviously our kids have worked really hard. There's only five opportunities uh, within the league, you know, five nationally televised games. So I've told our guys, you know, they earn the right to be on. Um, so I give all the credit to our players and the way they've played this year. Uh, we wouldn't be on. But I think it's exciting for our, our community. Um, I think it's exciting for our program, certainly. But uh, as to approach it any different, I, I would say no, probably not. Yeah, Ryan, I think, um, you know, it's part of what we've tried to do here, um, you know, in our six years is build the program, uh, you know, not only with wins, wins, uh, but build it with exposure. Uh, so to get a chance to do that, uh, you know, I, I think it's a big opportunity for our guys. Uh, I really do. Um, so I'm excited about it. Uh, I think, you know, our ticket office has done a great job. Uh, Chris Sumner, Rob Schmidt, uh, our communications people, Jamie, um, and that team, you know, it's it's a lot of work, um, you know, and I, I appreciate their effort. Uh, so we want to get, you know, close to a sellout. Uh, we need our students out there. You know, it's a red out. Uh, we need this city to get behind this team. Uh, they've been awesome all year long, and now I think it's time to take it to another level uh, as far as the, the number of people in this building. The, the appeal of having Youngstown State on ESPN, too, what is it that makes you think that is attractive that makes people want to say, hey, let's put this team on? Because obviously you're scoring a lot with an elite scoring. I think today I looked and you were fifth in the nation in scoring. But what is it about you know this team, this group, that makes a national television program say, hey, look, we want to showcase them? Yeah, I mean, I, I think a couple things. You know, obviously, Ryan, when you go into a season, um, you know, ESPN and their people – uh, pick a couple games, you know, it's called the wild card game. So there every week that we're on the five different uh, opportunities, there's a couple different matchups. So they look at what's going on within the league uh, and they, the TV people determine it. Uh, so is what the league tells us. Uh, I'm sure the league, you know, obviously has a little say as well, but you know, our guys earn this opportunity. Uh, we're scoring 85 points a game. Uh, we've got four and five guys in double figures. Uh, we share the basketball, uh, and we're right there in the hunt for a league title. Um, you know, Greg Campy's group is right there as well. They're seven and three, uh, veteran coach. Um, so I think it's a great matchup. You know, we've had some historic games inside the Big League Center with Oakland. Um, so I think they got it right. Now we just have to prepare. We have to have a good week of prep this week. So when we get out there at nine o'clock at night, uh, late start, uh, our guys, you know, becomes natural. You know, they make the right play. They make the right read. Uh, they play good defense and just go play basketball. Sure, this is a chance maybe to some people maybe coming here for the first time. So how important is it to perform, you know, and get the win? Dean, I think it's a great point. Um, you know, typically we get two to 3,000 fans. So you're going to have about – Two or 3,000 more people in the building, uh, whether they've seen us play or not, uh, I don't know. But um, what happens is people get curious, right? You know, the word gets out, hey, they got a good team. Uh, ESPN's, you know, going to be here. This game's going to be on national TV. Um, I'm all about opportunity. Uh, I think our players got to take advantage of this opportunity because you don't know what it could do, um, you know, for – you know, our program for our fan base, um, you know, the people that have been coming, they're the loyal supporters, um, but you never want to turn down fans, right? So you can never have enough fans coming into this building. Um, so I think the opportunity is there. Um, you know, you just got to win by one. Um, you know, you don't have to, you know, score 100 points, uh, you know, anything like that. You got to play hard. You got to play the right way, share the ball. And I think, you know, people that enjoy this sport, enjoy basketball, everybody, you know, has different sports they like. I think what they'll see with this team, Dana, is it's a fun style. That we're running, uh, we're athletic, we're shooting threes, we're dunking the ball. Um, you know, we've got to defend. Uh, that, that's, you know, been our focus here today. It'll be our focus the next 48 hours. Our defense has got to keep getting better uh, and perform better. Obviously, 
Yeah, I mean, you know, it is a late start. Nine is different with uh, little kids. Um, but, you know, we have kids day on Sunday uh, as well. So if the, you know, the parents can't bring them down for the nine o'clock start, we have, you know, we have kids day this Sunday, which I think is a, a fabulous event that we do, do it in basketball and football. Uh, but yeah, I mean, most of these high school games be over. Uh, you know, I went to a high school game a couple of weeks ago here locally. The thing was over an hour and five minutes. Uh, you know, if you, you don't get the coaches calling a lot of timeouts, you can get in and get out of there and, um, you know, get, get down to the Beagley Center and watch this game. Yeah, I mean, you know, my message would be this. Um, you know, I've heard all along that, you know, this was not a basketball school. Uh, you know, th this, you know, some people told me not to take the job. This was a bad job. Um, you know, all the all the silliness. Um, and to me, you know, what I saw in Youngstown State was a sports community, uh, a place that loves sports. It doesn't matter if it's football, basketball, baseball. People in our city and our community love sports in general. Um, you know, this is one of the best teams that we've had at this university. Uh, went off to one of the best starts since 1997. So get behind these kids. They work really hard. Not only are they good players, they're good in the community. Um, you know, I've had so many letters and so many different things throughout the years on these guys on our team. Uh, they would be very appreciative of the way they represent the why. Um, and the people that haven't seen us, you know, get down here and watch this team, I think you enjoy it. Um, you know, I think our marketing team does a nice job. Um, and I think it's a, it's a great opportunity for us to take the next step. You know, we have 10 games left. We're trying to win a, a regular season title. We're trying to hang a banner, uh, trying to do some things that haven't been done. We have 10 left, six at home. You know, who knows? We create this environment where there's four or five, 6,000 people in here the last six games. Uh, you know, you might not lose. You know, it might create an atmosphere that's incredible for our guys and helps them with their energy levels and all those things. Um, I think it's a good opportunity. You know, with camp, you never know what he's going to do. Uh, uh, that's what makes him a, a great coach and a unique coach. Um, he's been playing this zone, um, you know, the last couple of years. It's been very effective. I thought we made a lot of shots up at the O arena. I thought we played really good basketball. Uh, that doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Uh, we got to go do that, Joel. We got to look at the tape, uh, dive into that. Um, we've done that a little bit. Uh, but I think our offense starts with our defense. If our defense isn't operating the way we need it to be, we're not going to get out in transition. We're not going to score the ball. We saw that against Milwaukee, our struggles. You know, we scored 75 and we're mad. Um, you know, that's that's kind of where our offense is at these days. So our defense has got to trigger that. Um, you got to get with any zone, you got to get the ball to the high post. You got to get the ball to the short corner. You have to take good shots. You know, the thing that we did up there is we took good shots and we dominated the backboard. Uh, we got to do that again. I think everything, you know, I, I think sense of urgency. Uh, I think it starts with, you know, the desire to be a good on-ball defender, one-on-one -on -one defense, and then team defense. You know, uh, I think sometimes when you get so much talked about with your offense, um, you know, you become reliant on that, where it needs to be the other way around. You know, we need to rely on our defense uh, to get that offense going. Um, so, you know, Jalen Moore, their point guard, is playing at a high level, coming off a huge game against Detroit. Trey Townsend's an all-league guy. Um, they got good players, um, and they've been in these moments. You know, Oakland's been on national TV probably as many uh, as many times as anybody in our conference. So, uh, we got to be ready to go.